Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to explain how to set up the Thrustmaster TCA throttle pack for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. By default the TCA throttles are set up to work with the default Airbus A320neo in the simulator. So if you fly this aircraft then you'll find that the default settings should work absolutely fine. If like me, however, you're using the Fly-By-Wire A32NX, then there are some settings that we need to change. So let's jump into Microsoft Flight Simulator and take a look. So once you're in the sim, head over to the Options tab and then click on the Controls Options. We want to make a duplicate of the default settings, so you can do that by going down to Preset Manager and clicking the Duplicate button. Type in a new name for your settings, so in my case that is going to be A32NX Fly-By-Wire. Click OK. Next click on the sensitivity option. And then we want to take these sensitivity options and set them back to zero on both sides. So take this one down to zero, this one back to zero, increase this one again back to zero on both sides. and then take the neutral and take that back to zero too. You can also set the dead zone percentage to zero percent. I have not had any negative issues by setting them to zero. And then once that's finished, click on done and then click apply and save. Okay, let's jump into the A32NX and open up the fly pad. Click on the settings icon, click sim options and then calibrate. Make sure you've ticked the reverser on axis and independent axis toggles. We'll start by setting reverse full. So on your TCA throttles, lift the reverser clips up and pull the throttle all the way back as far as it will go. And then click set from throttle on each side. Next up is reverse idle. Now this one can be a little bit tricky because there isn't a specific detent on the throttles for reverse idle. So what you should do is push the throttles back to the idle position lift up the reverse clips and then pull both throttles back by about one centimeter and then that should be enough to be able to set reverse idle and then once again make sure you click on the set from throttle option on each side you can repeat the same process for the idle detent the climb flex and then finally the toga preset and ensure that you set from throttle each time once you've done that click save and apply and then finally double check to make sure everything is working Move the throttlers through each of the gates, starting at reverse full, all the way through to toga, and then what you see in the aircraft should match what you have on the throttle quadrant. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, and if you have any questions, then please, please leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them.